blow your mind is the name of the game for the upcoming Avatar sequel, one that is destined to take over the world by storm, much like the first movie, filled with even more modern technology, one that matches Cameron's vision about the movie, something that held the movie back for more than a decade. But it is finally here, and the narrative complexity hinted for the sequel should just be an element of the story we never knew we needed. After 13 whole years, we are finally getting probably the most long-awaited blockbuster, Avatar The Way of Water. The sequel to James Cameron's masterpiece that, as it stands right now, was the movie that started a franchise, with already four more movies, including this sequel, in the works, with each subsequent movie released two years after the previous. And while it all sounds so exciting, let's stick right now with what is before us and see what are all the promising details and elements that will make this sequel, much like the first one, a one-of-a-kind movie that will be talked about for years forward. And while it is more than certain that the Avatar sequel will be a huge success, the studio's tease about the movie being one of those to blow your mind is probably the exact type of hype the franchise needs after being asleep for more than a decade now. 20th Century Studios president Steve Asball is the one who started the hype train, who said that James Cameron's sequel will genuinely blow people away, with this movie being an even bigger marvel when it comes to the visual effects side of things, and the first in line of four movies to adapt more and more top-notch technologies in the making of the upcoming movies. The future plan for the franchise is probably Disney's biggest risk as Disney is relying on Avatar The Way of Water to not only be a blockbuster, but also on the franchise's longevity and all of the non-theatrical pursuits. And when it comes to any franchise becoming a huge success in the future, most of the time you would turn to Disney. And since that is the case, Disney being that kind of a studio, the future of every next sequel from the franchise can be said to be in good hands, probably the best hands possible at the moment. Set to bring an even bigger one when compared to the first movie, the Avatar sequel will surely have to live up to the hype, with the movie being sort of like a benchmark for the movies to come. The 13-year gap between the two movies suggests the blockbuster master James Cameron will be able to wow the fans with modern visual technology at the same caliber that he did in 2009 or even more, as the gap is so big that so many things have changed in the way a movie of this genre is made. All in all, the sequel has to be stunning, not just in its visuals, but also in how the story keeps the viewers wanting to come back for more. The thing the studio is teasing with this movie, in order to put their plan for the upcoming three movies in play, and despite a studio hyping up its own franchise is expected, the future installments of the franchise, just in the way they were announced, require a sense of anticipation for the technology that will be used, and all of the storytelling that is about to take place. Another billion dollar box office haul is rumored to happen with Avatar The Way of Water. However, if the movie itself does not live up to the expectations, the success of any future installments could not be guaranteed for success. So there is a big toll on everyone working on the project. The sequel, even after all this time, is also set to bring back many cast members from the first movie, including Sam Worthington as Jake Zoli, Zoe Saldana as Navi, Nate Tyree, Stephen Lang as Colonel Miss Quadric, Gianni Bervisi as mining boss Parker Selfage, Joel David Moore as xenoanthropologist Dr. Norm Spellman, and Sigourney Weaver as Avatar program head Dr. Grace Augustine. The cast did pretty well in the first movie. So there is no doubt that the work they did in the first movie will not continue in the sequel, with all of them working as a cohesive team that became an even bigger one as many new faces will be joining the franchise, including the likes of Edie Falco, Vin Diesel, Jermaine Clement, Michelle Yao, Cliff Curtis, and Kate Winslet. Nothing official has been said about the plot side of things for the movie. The only thing we know is that an old threat will resurface, one that will interrupt Jake and Tyree's happy family life. Yes, the two have children now, forcing them to explore even more of the planet called Pandora, going into the water life a little bit more, where they will encounter yet another clan of the Navi people. The sequel is coming so long after the first movie, and people around the world are still in a little bit of a doubt whether the movie will be as much of a success as its record-breaking, shattering predecessor. Part of the first movie's success was due to the debut of the Bleeding Edge CGI technology to create the world of the Navi, something that many studios have at their fingertips today. 
so we can understand why all the concerns. However, with a decade's worth of technological advancements in the filmmaking industry and what James Cameron has in his possession, we are more than certain that he will do everything he can to blow the original movie out of the water. From what we were able to dig up, we can already see that the sequel sounds so much better than the first movie, not only because of the newer age in which it will be made, and the sequel promises to have greater complexity in terms of storytelling, something the first movie lacked a bit, but also because of the fact that we will get to explore an even bigger portion of Pandora, one of the more unknown planets in our grasp. One of the more interesting things to see in the sequel will be the deeper exploration of the native people who live on Pandora, called Navi, with us being introduced to yet another clan, much like the one we got to see in the first movie, and the one our boy, Jake Sully, is in right now together with Natari and their children. As we mentioned before, there are new faces who have joined the franchise, and even though their roles are not given to the public, we think that at least half of them will be the people that belong to the clan that lives near the water, where Jake and his family will go to find shelter and help against the threat that came back to bite them. The other thing that the sequel will improve upon, when compared to the first movie, is that we are going to see both human heroes and Navi villains, something the first movie lacked due to its pretty straightforward narrative, where there were clear protagonist and antagonist, which was understandable as there were two races that clashed together. The main plot of the sequel will be Jake, the Tyree, and their family, and just how far would you go to keep your family safe? An interesting concept, given that, in the new story, Jake and Atiri will have an adopted human son in their family, who goes by the name of Spider. Thus, this added emotional depth should really improve upon the first movie and elevate this sequel above its predecessor in that aspect. Everything put together with the fact that we are going to see more of Pandora's beaches and underwater should mean that we will be in for a treat, especially since there will be a whole lot of detailed world building intertwined within the main story of the most anticipated movie of the year. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the franchise so far, the way it is headed, and the future sequels already put in motion? Do you think it was too early for Disney to make this kind of announcement? As there are a lot of variables about the sequel being as good as they are saying. But also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.